Yo, what is good YouTube? It is your boy Six. I'm back with a brand new video. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a template for your rap slash modern R&B vocals. This is going to save you so much time. I know when you get those bright ideas in your head, the last thing you want to do is go on here, set up all the plugins and set everything up with this template. All you got to do is drag in the beat and hit record and you're ready to go. I'm going to be showing you everything from creating the tracks, the organization, how to create all the effects, how to do all the sends and everything in between. So let's get straight into it. All right, so now we have our logic open. When you open your logic, it's just gonna come up with this screen. This is the blank logic. This is exactly how yours should come up. Right now I have a talk track here. That's just for the video, don't worry about that. So the very first thing we're gonna wanna do is go up here, go to logic, settings, and audio. And this is your I slash O buffer size. Mine's on 128. And what this pretty much means is how much latency you're going to have while you're hearing yourself record with the effects on. I suggest everyone have theirs at about 128, maybe 256 if your computer can handle it. But if you're on some of the higher ones and you realize that when you're listening to yourself record, there's some latency, just keep clicking it lower and lower until it feels good, until it sounds good. I feel like 128 is the best. Okay, so after that, we're gonna wanna come up here and turn these off. And we're gonna wanna make sure whenever we record, we record with pre-fader metering on. And if you don't have this, you need to delete logic and re-download. No, <laughs> I'm just playing. If you don't have this, you're gonna wanna go right here, go to customize control bar and display, and it's gonna be right here, pre-fader metering. It is very important. This will tell you your gain while you're recording into Logic. Not the gain going out, but the one going into Logic. Stay with me. Okay, so after you have that enabled, we're gonna start off by creating five tracks. So you're just gonna wanna go here, click the plus button, type in five right here, and hit create. Okay, so now that you have your five tracks, we're gonna start off by naming all of them. So we can start with beat, and then this is gonna be your record track where you record your vocals or punch-ins. And then we have your lead one where you're gonna drag it down. And then lead two where you're gonna drag it down. And then we have the ad-libs. Okay, so after you get done making your five tracks, you have your beat where you put in your beat, your record track, which is gonna be the main track you record on, and then your lead one and lead two. So every time you punch in, you're just gonna drag it to lead one and then drag the next one to lead two, drag the next one to lead one, lead two, and so on, and then your ad-libs. We're gonna add some icons to this to make it look nicer. So we're gonna go to beat. I like using this one for the beat, and then for the record track, I like using one microphone, and then for lead one and two, we can do the double mics. And then for ad-libs, we can do this mic. So now that we got it looking pretty, we're gonna start with the record track. So whatever I do on the record track, we're gonna copy on to the lead one and two, and I'll show you how to do that the easiest way. So the very first thing I want you guys to do on your record track is add a level meter. So we're gonna go down here to metering and level meter, and we're gonna go to true peak and RMS. It's horizontal right now, I like mine vertical. Okay, so now that we have our meter, we're gonna set this bar to negative eight. So when you're recording, you don't want your vocals to peak above negative eight. Between negative 10 and negative eight is a very safe space and you will have, you will still have enough headroom to still add in your beat and do all your mixing work. Okay, so next we're gonna start with the channel EQ. What we're pretty much gonna do with this EQ is roll off some low end on our voice. So I'm gonna go down here so now you can hear me on here and as I'm talking I just want to roll off some of that low end in my voice maybe make this a little bit tighter not too much because you don't want your vocals to sound thin so we're just gonna roll it back and I suggest you put this at about I'd say 80 maybe 100 if you're a female so after you do that the next thing we're gonna want to do is cut out some of that boominess or boxiness, which is around between 200 to about 500. We're just gonna do a slight dip, just about two dB. So we're gonna go to the green right here and we're gonna change this to about one. So we're gonna change that to one and then we're gonna just go make a dip, I'd say right around 300, about two dBs. And this will kind of just clean up some of that like lower mud you might have in your voice. And that's the only thing we're gonna do with this EQ. So the next thing we're gonna wanna do is add a de -esser. So we're gonna go to Dynamics and de 2, Mono. 
And all I like to do for this one is change the frequency to about 7,500. That's where I realize my S's are. As you can see, it's working right there. So I like to change the threshold to about negative 10, just to make it a little bit more up there in your face. So it is working as you can hear it. So I'm gonna play this back and forth. It makes a huge difference. Now that we have our de-esser on there, the next thing we're gonna wanna do is add a compressor. So we're gonna go here to dynamics, compressor, and mono. Now before I click on it, I want you guys to know that we're gonna use a FET compressor, a FET compressor. What a FET compressor does is, it's a very fast acting compressor. So whenever your vocal peaks, it's gonna hurry up and slam it right back down. But you wanna make sure you don't slam it too hard. You do still wanna let some of those transients pass. Stay with me. So there's two types of FET compressors in Logic. We have the Studio FET or the Vintage FET. If you're going for a more modern sound, I would go for the Studio FET. But if you want some warmth to your vocals, you can select the Vintage FET. There's nothing wrong with either one. I just personally like the Studio FET a little bit better. So we're gonna click Studio FET. We're gonna turn off Auto Gain because that will add a lot of gain to your vocals. And what we're gonna wanna do is put the ratio to about four to one. I feel like that's a that's a pretty good ratio. And you're just gonna wanna leave this threshold. I, I feel like 20 is a good place for this threshold to be. You don't wanna get more than five dBs of compression. Right now I'm talking, the line is hitting between negative five and zero, and that is a great level to record at. The only thing I would do is still leave this on auto and just move your attack to about 100 just so you can still let those transients pass through and then just lower your release to about 30 so it's not clamping down and giving your vocals that like pumping effect. So now that we've added our compressor, we are gonna add a vintage graphic EQ. So we're gonna go down here, go to EQ and we're gonna go to vintage EQ collection and we're gonna go to vintage graphic EQ mono. Now what I like this one because this gives some analog warmth to your vocals when you boost it. So we're gonna go here to tune and I like to just tune this up about four so we can get that 20K band and that 5K mid range. So for the 5K mid range, I like to boost this just two dBs just to give your vocal some real presence in the mix. And then we're gonna go to 20.2K and add another two dBs just to give us that air on the end of our voice. All right, so after we've added our air to our vocals, you wanna go to your output model right here and change it to smooth. Smooth will give you that real smooth sound. I don't know how to explain it, but it is nice. After we've added that, we're gonna to wanna to go down here and add a chorus. So go down to modulation and chorus, and you're gonna to wanna to go to mono stereo. Now, if you're listening on studio monitors or headphones, you're gonna realize that my voice got real, real wide. So I don't like this much chorus, but if you like it, you can leave it just how it is. All I do is change the mix and bring it down to about 15. This will still give you a nice, nice chorus effect and make your voice sound loud. Wow. The next and last thing for our main vocal chain, we're gonna wanna do is add a exciter plugin. So we're gonna go to specialized exciter and stereo. So I'm gonna turn it off while I talk. So this is almost like a saturation plugin that's already built into Logic. This will give you real, real nice depth to your vocals. So we're gonna turn it on and we're gonna go here and go to add silver. And it's at 158, which I feel like is just a little bit too much. So I like to bring this down to about 50, between 50 and 100, whatever you think works the best. I like 50 for my voice. I think it sounds the best at 50. Now, all we need is delay and reverb. Now, what we would do normally is create a bus or a send or an aux track or whatever you wanna call it. But for latency issues, we are gonna put our delay and our reverb straight on to the actual chain because when you use a bus, or a send or an aux or whatever you call it, it's going to cause you some latency issues inside of Logic. So we're gonna go down and we're gonna go here and we're gonna go to delay, tape delay, stereo. I'm gonna turn it off while I talk because that will get really annoying. So I like putting the dry to 100 and I like taking the wet to about 12%. And then putting the feedback to about 17% is good. And then right here we can EQ the delay. 
So I like taking it to about 300 and then putting this about 5K. And then let's turn it on. Turn it on. And we can lower the wet a little bit more to about maybe 10. Okay. So now that we have our delay, I'm going to turn it off because that will get really annoying while I'm making the video. But I will do a demonstration. So stick around for the demonstration so you can see exactly how good this chain is. So the next thing and the last thing we're going to add into our chain is going to be our reverb. So we're going to go to reverb and you can use any reverb you want. I like using the Quantic. Uh, I like using the Quantec Room Simulator Reverb Stereo. I'm going to turn it off. And my favorite preset with this reverb is Medium Rooms and Countryside Church. So let's turn it on and we're going to go to our reverb level right here and I like lowering it to about, I think 20, negative 20 dB sounds good. If you do want more reverb, you can just turn it up and you'll get more reverb. So I'm gonna lower it back down. Negative 18 is not that bad. So I'm gonna turn that off too so it doesn't get annoying in the video. So after we have created our main record chain, we're gonna copy these settings to lead one, lead two, and ad libs. And we're gonna change something in our ad lib chain, which I'll show you. So we're gonna go to settings. We're gonna go to copy channel strip settings and we're gonna go to settings, paste channel strip settings. Settings, paste channel strip settings, settings, paste channel strip settings. So now we have all of our same settings onto every other track. We're gonna go down here and we're gonna go to our ad libs. And the only thing we're gonna change on our ad libs is the EQ. So I like going here, going down to EQ tools, and I like going to the phone filter wide band. And this will give your ad libs like that telephone sound effect you always hear and maybe just lower it down a little bit and boom. And another thing I like to do on the ad lib track is turn the delay. Turn the delay up to 20. There we go. There we go. I'm going to turn it off and then I'll also like to turn the reverb up just a few dBs just to give it a little bit of separation from the main vocal. And let's let's go back to our record track here. So now you have everything set up exactly how it needs to be. I'm going to drag a beat in here and I'm going to show you exactly how this will sound on your vocals. Now your vocals are obviously going to be a little bit different from mine and you can tweak your settings and change your settings however you want them. Now if you have Waves plugins, you can just substitute all the plugins I used and use Waves plugins. I just use the stock plugins. So everybody could follow along. So I'm gonna drag a beat in here and let's get to it. So now that I got the beat in here, what you're gonna realize is that nine times out of 10, I really should say 10 times out of 10 when you get a beat off YouTube, SoundCloud, BeatStars, wherever you're getting your beat from, they mastered it. So you're gonna wanna turn down the beat a little bit. So just go to gain. I like doing about negative six. You can do negative seven. You can even, some people even do like negative 18, which is on the VU meter, which is slightly different. I can make a whole another video about that, but we're just gonna do negative six for this tutorial. And shout out to the person that made this beat, JP Beats. The link to this beat will be in the description below if you guys wanna go check out and check out his channel. So one thing I did forget to tell you guys in the beginning, just we just forgot one very important step. I know I need it. You know you need it is auto-tune so we're gonna go right here you're gonna want to just click between your level meter and your channel eq and we're gonna add auto-tune you can add the stock auto-tune you can add waves tune you can add antares meta pitch whatever you have you can add your auto-tune i'm just gonna do waves for tutorial purposes so waves and whenever you are making your auto-tune just put this to zero and don't put in a key since this is a template i'm gonna turn that off do not enter a key in your autotune since this is a template and every beat you use will be in a different key. Just for like template purposes, don't put in the key. So you just wanna copy this autotune to all your other tracks. So you can just do the same thing. Settings, copy, paste, settings, paste, settings, paste. You're gonna wanna go back to your channel EQ and go here and go to EQ tools and phone filter wide band just turn it down slightly now we are ready to record we almost forgot like the most important thing that rappers nowadays use is the auto tune so let's do a quick freestyle but this is what we've all waited for is to see the chain in action so let's turn on all the effects and let's get to it Like 
I'm chosen Heart has been cold, soul has been frozen uh, Feel like little baby, I got all this motion I'm number one and I feel like I'm chosen Heart was so cold, now it's so frozen Yeah, But I'm not a rapper off so now when you record you're literally just gonna drag it down and if you even want to keep recording right so let's keep recording so i can show you guys the workflow uh feel like little baby i got, got all this motion. motion i'm number one and i feel like i'm chosen oh it's so cold now it's so frozen uh. so. when you record the next one you're just gonna drag it down to lead two and when you record the other one, it's gonna be on lead one, lead two, you're just gonna alternate. And you can make like lead one, lead two, hook one, hook two, bridge one, bridge two, like this is just for the template. There you can make so many of these. So let's add some uh, ad-libs in here. And let's turn all these on. Yup. I feel like little baby, I got yeah, all this yeah. motion I'm number one and I feel like I'm chosen Heart like has been cold, soul has been frozen, frozen. frozen. Uh, frozen. Feel like little baby, I got, got all this motion, motion. Yeah, I'm number yeah. one and I feel like I'm chosen Heart yeah, was so yeah. cold, yeah. now it's so frozen, frozen. Uh, yeah. uh, frozen. Uh. Alright, so now that we got the ad-libs We're gonna turn it down and let's, uh, let's see what we're working with yeah. Feel like little baby, I yeah, got all this yeah. motion. I'm number one and I feel like I'm chosen. Heart has been cold, soul has been frozen. Uh, feel like little baby, I got, got all this motion. motion. Yeah, I'm number one and I feel like I'm chosen. Oh, it's so cold, now it's so frozen. I'm gonna save your guys' ears for you. Hopefully, you guys are way better than me and you guys can use this template to actually help. I uh, sincerely apologize that you guys had to listen to that. But as your chief mixing engineer, Big Six, it is my job to give you a nice vocal template, which I did. Now, I'm going to teach you how to actually save this as a template. So I'm going to delete these vocals. Now that I have everything deleted, I'm going to turn everything back on and I'm going to show you exactly how to save this. So we're going to go to File save as a template and boom you can call this your whatever template i'm not going to save it because i already have this template i personally use this template so i am showing you something that i do personally use so you just want to click whatever and hit save so boom after you save it you now have a pro vocal template ready to go whenever you get those bright ideas in your head you'll you will be ready and you can thank your boy six for it by subscribing below liking the video one more thing there is no download to this template because i want you to actually make the template i know a lot of people will just be like here here's the template download it and you won't even watch the video learn something like honestly a lot of you guys are lazy that's why i'm not putting this in the description this video is not that hard to follow i tried to make this video as simple as possible so everybody could do this it's like when you actually do it yourself you know way more and you have way more control i explained what each plugin does just so you could tweak it to whatever style of music that you make and you can make it your own so if this video did help you please like please subscribe comment down below what you guys need help with i can help you with anything no i can't <laughs> i can help you with anything i'll try my best i'll figure it out just for you i'll make the videos you have the ideas so yeah, other than that, man, it's been six. Y'all boys stay up, man.